Today, we will be taking a look at the best small and mid-sized pickup trucks to buy in 2024. While it's not as mighty as Nissan's full-size Titan, the mid-size Nissan Frontier is newer and costs far less. It uses a stout 310 horsepower V6, making 30 horsepower more than the Honda Ridgeline, which Nissan mates to a 9-speed automatic transmission. Rear-wheel drive is standard, but four-wheel drive is optional. The maximum towing capacity for the Nissan Frontier is 6,720 pounds. That means it falls short of its rivals. The Jeep Gladiator is what happens when you lash a pickup truck bed onto the back of a four-door Wrangler. The Gladiator's power plant is a 285 horsepower 3.6 liter V6, routed through a standard 6-speed manual transmission or an optional 8-speed automatic, which is less powerful than many of the newer and more modern options. But those who consider a Gladiator don't consider its workability. The maximum towing capacity for the Jeep Gladiator is 7,700 pounds. The Tacoma is fully redesigned for the 2024 model year, which marks the midsize pickup truck's fourth generation. The Tacoma lineup is also more diverse than most alternatives, the engine comes in two forms and pairs with either an 8-speed automatic transmission or a 6-speed manual. Rear and four-wheel drive are both available. The base model is powered by the 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder engine producing 228 horsepower. While the rest of the lineup is powered by force variations with up to 278 horsepower. But the mightiest Tacoma is the 326 horsepower hybrid model. The maximum towing capacity for the Toyota Tacoma is 6,500 pounds. It can also haul up to 1,705 pounds of payload. Almost like an extra trim level on top of the Chevy Colorado, the 2024 GMC Canyon comes standard with some of the best that GM's other midsize truck can give. Every Canyon uses a 310 horsepower turbocharged 2.7 liter inline four engine that's bolted to an eight speed automatic transmission with rear wheel drive as standard. The new GMC Canyon has a max towing capacity of 7,700 pounds for elevation, AT4 and Denali trim levels. Updated with a fresh new look, surpassing all competition with style, capability, and utility. All Colorados are powered exclusively by a turbocharged 2.7-liter inline-4 engine and an 8-speed automatic. While work truck and LT base models come standard with 237 horsepower, the upper four trims, Z71, Trail Boss, and ZR2 models use the 310 horsepower version of the same turbo 2.7-liter giving it more power and torque than the powertrains found in the Jeep Gladiator and Tacoma. The base engine found in work truck and LT trims manages just 3,500 pounds of pull, Colorado Z71 and Trail Boss can pull up to 7,700 pounds. Hyundai has a genuinely good compact truck in the 2024 Hyundai Santa Cruz. Much as the Maverick is related to its Bronco Sport SUV kin, the Santa Cruz is essentially a Tucson compact crossover SUV. There are two powertrains available for the Santa Cruz. The SE and SEL are powered by a 2.5-liter four-cylinder making 191 horsepower and 181 pound-feet of torque. While the Knight, XRT, and limited trims come with a turbocharged 2.5 liter 4 with 281 horses and 311 pound per feet figures much better suited to urban driving when optioned with base four cylinder the santa cruz is rated to tow 3500 pounds but with turbocharged option it can tow up to 5000 pounds small pickups are back and at the center of this emerging trend is the 2024 Ford Maverick. Inexpensive, reasonably capable, and extremely efficient, the Maverick effectively maxes out what a compact truck can do. 
powered by 2-liter 4-cylinder and an 8-speed automatic transmission, it can produce 250 horsepower. A hybrid powertrain is optional and consists of a 2.5-liter 4-cylinder that's assisted by an electric motor for a combined 191 horsepower. The Maverick offers 1,500 pounds of payload capacity and 2,000 pounds of towing capacity. With the turbocharged 4-cylinder, the Maverick can tow up to 4,000 pounds. So, which one would you pick? Share your thoughts in the comments.